And manufacturing has always been a critical driver of any economic development and is a crucial for sustainable growth and job creation. It also has the potential to transform the nation's economy, diversify our revenue sources, and reduce our dependence on oil. Those were the words of the Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Dr. Doris Uzoka Anita, at this year's edition of the Nigerian Manufacturing and Equipment Exposition, NME Expo, and the Nigerian Raw Materials Exposition, NIRAM Expo. Emmanuel Olubabakung has more. The annual Nigerian Manufacturing and Equipment Expo jointly organized the Nigerian Raw Materials Exposition of the Raw Materials Research and Development Council affords stakeholders an opportunity to examine the state of the manufacturing sector and deliberate on the roadmap for development through the Manufacturers Partnership for African Development and Masterclass Sessions. The Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment is well represented here. It assures that its policy initiatives will continue to center on creating an enabling environment, incentivizing production activities, and promoting the use of made in Nigeria products to boost the competitiveness of our manufacturers. But leather production, in summary, luckily for us, the federal government has banned the importation of fertilizer. So the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria can do as much as possible to ensure that we produce enough fertilizer in Nigeria locally. There are four major types of fertilizers being produced in Nigeria. The urea fertilizer, single superphosphate fertilizer, triple superphosphate fertilizer, DAF, diammonia phosphate fertilizer, and the NPK fertilizer. Organic fertilizer is not banned, but I believe with the support of the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria and with our raw material resources, we have the capacity to produce most of the organic fertilizer needs of Nigeria. If we can get the correct investors to invest in these areas, believe me, in the very few years to come, we can ban the importation of organic, organic fertilizer also in Nigeria. In his welcome address, the president of the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, Otumba Francis Meshiri, says the annual event provides a common ground for large manufacturing organizations and SMEs to explore new production processes that will increase their production output. The theme of the 2023 Expo is future manufacturing building a sustainable roadmap to the industrialization of Nigeria. The theme is informed by the unprecedented rate in which our world is changing in terms of innovation and technologies, shifting consumer expectations, as well as increasing social awareness of gender equity and restoration of previously marginalized communities. If manufacturers can efficiently balance a combination of efficient economies of production and supply chains, strong and reputable products, loyal customers, an established logistic network, as well as reliable online business elements, they'll be well positioned in the future to compete favorably in the industrial marketplace. Participants at the event emphasize the importance of incorporating technology to produce locally made goods, support sustainable development, and reduce reliance on developed nations. Uh, the resultant high cost of power generation not only inflates operational costs, but also diminishes the competitiveness of locally manufactured products in both domestic and export markets. So at Shell Nigeria Gas, we are committed to bridging the energy gap and contributing to the, to the decade of gas ambition by providing manufacturing, manufacturing companies and industrial customers with clean, reliable, low-cost alternative to liquid fuels. As you know, in recent years, the bilateral economic and trade relationship between China and Nigeria has become increasingly close. In terms of trade, 
China is Nigeria's largest global trade partner, while Nigeria is China's second largest trade partner in Africa. In China-Nigeria Manufacturing Corporation, China can leverage its strengths in capital, technology, and talent, while Nigeria can give full play to its advantages in market and labor. Man says both exhibitions have continued to serve a great purpose in improving the status of the nation's manufacturing sector, particularly with the representation of the entire manufacturing value chain at the expo floor since inception in 2016. The theme for this year is Future Manufacturing, Building a Sustainable Roadmap to the Industrialization of Nigeria. Emmanuel Ulububukun, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.